Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well today and everyone's having a great day. Um, today is going to be another tool haul, but before we get into the tool haul, I want to take this opportunity to thank my mate Jim again for this book. Really, really cool. Um, it's a, People asked a couple of questions about it. It's a book and Hickman Limited. They made um, catalogues and they were a main seller. Book and Hickman looked like that. Um, they had London, Birmingham and Manchester, so three big cities. And they in the night, this is from 1934. These catalogues are still available on eBay and they're really reasonable and they're full of absolutely fantastic um, items, I think. Fantastic tools. You'll almost certainly, if you've got some old tools, you'll find some of them in here, certainly, because you'd, you'd really struggle not to. Um, but today we've got a tool haul and really cool one so let's zoom in and have a look at this little ad here so we have got here a case opener foreign because it's made in sweden an exact useful tool an exceedingly useful tool can be used as a hammer nail puller case opener or hatchet we have a number 40 which has a steel handle and then we've got 40 41 and 42 so we've got the, the length of it, nine and a quarter, 12 and a quarter, and 20 inches long. Um, and then we've got the prices, two shillings six, three shillings six, and 11 shillings nine for the respective sizes. Um, and it tells you all about the prices and scene. And then you've got a 41 can be supplied nickel plated. Very, very cool. So we've got three items there. Very, very cool. And that leads on today's book because I saw that and I thought, ooh, wouldn't mind finding one of those. Well, lo and behold, you know I did, because it's me. So let's move on and I'll show you what I found. Right guys, so as you can see, I've been accidentally buying again. So I can't believe what I found here and I'm super excited. This is probably the most excited I've been on a parcel and opening in a long time. And I've bought off some nice items recently. Um, so basically the first item I came across was the number 41, which is the Baco um, crate tool with the wooden handle. The handle's in, I'm not, I don't think it's the original wood and I think someone's put a bolt through it, um, but it's in okay condition, made in Stockholm and it's got 101 at the end. The hammer looks to be in reasonable condition. The blade doesn't look chipped and the edges didn't look chipped. Now I paid, trust me, these are very, very collectible in England and I was really pleased to be able to find one. Um, so I paid a hefty price and I got talking to the seller and the seller was also on Instagram um, and he's got a fantastic site. He mostly uh, deals and sells and collects axes um, and stuff, interesting tools like that. Um, I asked him, did he have any other backhoe tools? And he had these two. So I came to a price and agreed a price for these two. Plus then I had to pay extra postage as well. Um, so what we have here is quite a nice condition backhoe. 18 inch uh, and number 75 made in Sweden um, and this is a nice one it's at the bottom there it's got a 124 mark on it um, in rather good condition got a little bit of muck needs a good clean and but in condition wise not too bad at all a little bit of chewing up on the jaw but not good and then here uh, not too bad we've got a 15 inch V steel 6 674 so i think this one is a little bit newer this one is a little bit older if i had to guess and um, we've got backo sweden and this one also in even better condition really the jaws are really sharp on that one so this is going to go as part of my display these two because i've got a dis hopefully fingers crossed i've got a backo original new old stock backo display board coming on coming and they will fit on that so like again, really thanks to the guy who sold them me. Um, but the real star of the show is this um, really, really cool Baco 41. Now, I've seen my mate Jim has had one of these before, but I've never seen one of these sell before. They're very, very rare. So, because they're very early, love this tool, brilliant. But the star of the show, by without, without any doubt of any imagination, is this drop forged steel. Backo number 41 crate tool. And I think that is the nicest crate tool in the world. I really do. There's some things in life just give you the fizz. And this is one of them. I mean, it's got a little bit, now I really don't know what to do with it. 
I think, John, I'm starting to become a patina man and it's I, I don't, I'm really struggling. What do I do? Do I put high polish on it? Do I, do I matte finish it or do I just clean it up as it is? I don't know what to do. It's got a little chip on the jaw there and it's got a little chip just there on the actual, on the edge of the blade. But I am not complaining. This, I don't think, was sold in very big numbers at all and it's discarded tool. Um, but this is rare. This is really rare and I was really, really pleased to find this item. Um, super happy to find this item um, and really excited about it. Trust me, really, really excited. So um, some absolutely amazing, very early, in the, from the 1930s, these two. I think this one's probably from uh, the 50s and this one's probably from the 70s or 80s. Um, but some four very nice backhoe tools indeed super super cool but these two crate tools for me are something real special and they'll be a centerpiece in my backhoe wall display so i'm really looking forward to getting those up and getting those done and um, so yeah put in the description uh, which item do you think is the coolest for me no doubt it's this one this one looks cooler but this one is rare very very rare so for me it's this one then this one then this one, then this one. <laughs> so which do you think is the coolest item? You might think the 18 inch backhoe is the coolest. I mean, it's certainly probably one of the most useful tools, but yeah, put in the description how much you think I had to pay for all these items plus shipping. It wasn't cheap, so I wouldn't put anything starting, you know, unless it starts with a decent number. All right, thanks for watching. Take care, have a wonderful day. Bye.